Welcome again. In this session, we're going to be reading John chapter 18, verses 25, all the way through to the end of the chapter, verse 40. We're going to be talking about Peter's second and third denials and Jesus before Pilate. Verse 25, Now Simon Peter was standing and warming himself. They said therefore to him, You aren't one of his disciples, are you? He denied it and said, I am not. One of the servants of the high priest, being a relative of him, whose ear Peter had cut off, said, Didn't I see you in the garden with him? Peter therefore denied it again, and immediately the rooster crowed. I've said this before, but I want to bring this up again. Why is it, out of, out of everything that God could have chosen, to be a sign for Peter. It was a rooster. So one of the things about roosters is roosters like to be heard. They're all about just opening their mouth and crowing and just they want to be heard, okay? And with all due respect to the Apostle Peter, that's kind of like how he was too. Not that he was overly, you know, proud or overly arrogant. I'm not saying that, but he was, a, he was the type of guy that always would be speaking up. It's just his personality. He was the first one to say, you know, Lord, let me come out and walk on the water with you. He was the first one when Jesus asked all of them, who do you say that I am? Peter was the first one to stand up and say, you're the Christ, the Son of the living God. You are the Messiah. You are the Mashiach. He was the first one to stand up in, in the book of Acts and preach. He seemed to be the type of guy that would just... I always like to, you know, I don't know, it's just something about him, you know, sounding off, okay? Like a, like a rooster almost, okay? He was the first one to speak up uh, in, uh, you know, at the, with the so-called Last Supper, saying, I will never deny you. I, I, won't, I won't turn away from you, Lord. I'll never deny you. So I believe that God chose a rooster to be a sign for Peter because that's kind of like... <sighs> It's kind of reflective of his personality. Verse 28, They led Jesus therefore to Caiaphas into the praetorium. It was early, and they themselves didn't enter into the praetorium, that they might not be defiled, but might eat the Passover. Pilate therefore went out to them and said, What accusation do you bring against this man? They answered him, if this man weren't an evildoer, we wouldn't have delivered him up to you. <laughs> That's not an answer, by the way. That's not an answer. Verse 31, Pilate therefore said to them, Take him yourselves and judge him according to your law. Therefore the Jews said to him, It is illegal for us to put anyone to death, that the word of Jesus might be fulfilled which he spoke signifying by what kind of death he should die. Pilate therefore entered again into the praetorium, called Jesus, and said to him, Are you the king of the Jews? Jesus answered him, Do you say this by yourself, or did others tell you about me? Pilate answered, I'm not a Jew, am I? Your, your own nation and the chief priest delivered you to me. What have you done? Jesus answered, My kingdom is not of this world. If my kingdom were of this world, then my servants would fight, that I wouldn't be delivered to the Jews. But now my kingdom is not from here. That is a stark contrast to another world religion who is more of a geopolitical religion their kingdom is of this world. You know what I'm saying? They fight and they war and they reign by terror because their kingdom is of this world. Yeshua, Jesus, Isa, said that his kingdom, his kingdom is not of this world. That's why none of his disciples fought. Verse 37, Pilate therefore said to him, Are you a king then? Jesus answered, you say that I am a king. For this reason I have been born, and for this reason I have come into the world, that I should testify to the truth. Everyone who is of the truth listens to my voice. Pilate said to him, What is the truth? When he had said this, he went out again to the Jews and said to them, I find no basis for a charge against him. 
but you have a custom that I should release someone to you at the Pesach, at the Passover. Therefore, do you want me to release to you the king of the Jews? Then they all shouted again, saying, Not this man, but Barabbas. Now Barabbas was a robber. Everyone here did not want Jesus. They wanted him dead. Why? Again, Jesus made it very clear. The world hated him because he preached righteousness. He preached against their sin. That's what Jesus said over and over again. Thanks again for listening and may this reading be a blessing to you. May God enrich this to your understanding and open the eyes, open your spiritual eyes so that you would understand and so you would see great and mighty things as you call upon his name. Thanks again.